My name is Vanessa Joy here for Adorama TV and we are in Italy. Not really, I'll tell you where we are in a second. We are here at Via Antonia in this gorgeous reception venue, typically for weddings. They probably do other things, but we are shooting a wedding styled shoot and Jonestown, Texas, just north of Austin, Texas, has never looked so good. Literally felt like we were stepping into a villa on the side of a hill in Tuscany. It's absolutely incredible. We have an amazing set of vendors today, so make sure you look in the description below to check them all out and their work. They've worked so hard on this shoot. Now you get to come along with me. First thing to talk about with styled shoots is that you want to get the right team of vendors and it can be very difficult. I've done styled shoots where I pulled everything together including a timeline. I've had shoots like this one where the planner really took the reins on designing. We talked about inspiration and wanted to go for an Italian feel so you'll see figs and certain Mediterranean vibes coming into play here. Jessica from Uptown Events in Austin, Texas, really took the reins on the timeline and managing all of the vendors while she gave the vendor recommendations to me and had me go through and actually source them. It can be very difficult to get people to commit to doing a shoot. They have to get something out of it, obviously pictures, but preferably being published as well. When I decide what photos to take, it's really to highlight all of the different vendors as well as what we've created together. So I'll be sure to take time photographing the jewelry to thank the jeweler who provided everything and the invitation suite to make sure that everything is highlighted and all of the hard work. We got shoes from Bella Bell Shoes and they're incredible so they get a spotlight and the cake, desserts, food, really everything that you can think of. Naturally, as a photographer, I love focusing on the bride and groom. I love the two of them. And for this shoot, we actually had a real couple. Catherine is a model. Her hubby technically is not, but occasionally models with her. So it was perfect that they're a real couple. They're already married, so they get to live this fun again. My goals in photographing the two of them were to get a variety of expressions, make sure that they are sat in each and every location throughout the day so that whatever publication hopefully picks this up will have options of having just still life or having the couple in there as well. We had a beautiful classic car and not the type of like cherry red classic car that I'm used to. Usually the antique cars that I photograph have some sort of bright color, but this one with the tan, it was a perfect fit for being in Via Antonia. It was so much fun having this car, getting our bride Catherine all dressed up with the, with the bandana, the hair, the big sunglasses, just really getting into the vibe of what this Corvair is all about. With any styled shoot, we want to up any of the typical wedding things that happen. So we decided to have a little bit more elevated bar area than would normally be there. We do rotate the flowers. You'll notice you'll see flower pieces in different areas here, but that's because flowers are expensive, especially this year. So we have to make the most out of what we had. I certainly could see myself sitting down at this table just dreaming like I was in Tuscany, but really I was just north of Austin, Texas. When photographing the tablescape, I think about wide, medium, tight. Really throughout the entire session, I'm thinking wide, medium, tight. So I made sure to get pretty much every angle that I could, making sure I showed the entire environment and then honing in on some of those little details like the fruit and the place cards and the silverware or goldware in this case. I hope you enjoyed the shoot today. I know I did and we had a lot of pictures and a lot that we can show you. Definitely messed around with a few different lighting techniques and it was just fun to get to sit down and really pay attention to little bits of details. I certainly hope this will end up in a magazine or a blog somewhere. Make sure you hit subscribe, ring the bell here so you don't miss anything on Adorama TV.